Who's the voice whispering to it? Oh, the sound design, the performance. I've really been enjoying my World of Warcraft cinematic journey. And recently we started the Warbringers series with Warbringers Jaina. It's become one of my favorites. So today we're checking out Warbringers as Shara, which I hear I've been told by my chat here that it is absolutely amazing. If you've been enjoying our time together, make sure to please check out some of the other videos we've been covering on this channel, including the World of Warcraft full cinematic journey, Genshin Impact videos, Final Fantasy, and the list goes on. Let's get right into it. And please, lore experts, join me in battle once again. Beautiful image. Beautiful image. Wow. I love this image. It's like a, it's a beautiful, like, utopia of a city. And it's like, oh, a cloud is coming over. It's going to be a rainy day. Oh, no. It's a tsunami. Oh, that's horrifying. And it's so well animated. What? Is that Azshara? Azshara. Look at the colors. It's beautiful. The yellows and purples. Complementary colors. Whoa. And that's the image she sees. I love the eye flickering. Like that is that is eerie as heck. A fish out of water. Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it. How strong could you be though against a tsunami? And then the fish dies, and let me guess. So does her strength. No. What an image in the fish eye. No. I am queen. What a voice. This is the empire I built. Yes. It is over. Who's the voice whispering to it? Oh, the sound design, the performance. That scream was chilling. The performance is crazy. I am so impressed by this so far. Amazing performance and the sound design just Ooh. beautiful image here. Beautiful image, very Kingdom Hearts. She's sinking. Wow, that was an awesome opening. And there go there goes the crown. She couldn't protect her people. The crown weighs heavy indeed. It has left her. Beautifully done. Beautifully voiced intro. This could be the opening to a film, guys. This could straight up be the opening to a film. I'm so intrigued right now. I'm so interested in this character. No. This is my fault. Her people, this is her fault. No. This was not the deal I made. That's horrifying. The deal she made? What's the deal? What's the deal she made, guys? Help me out. Did she make a deal for that dark power? you just that voice show yourself at once <laughs> they got jump scares for a thousand years bound beneath these waves great voice i have watched you i have tasted your essence Whoa. you Beautiful image, and it that was the fish talking to her. Now. Your death is near. Only I what? can sustain you. I love the voice acting, it's actually incredible. Like, top, top of the line, Let top of the show. Go. Serve me. You, you we're, are nothing. We're playing nothing. with the images of the fish eye throughout, and it's so. I am a god. I ruled. Whoa. Magnificent. That's pure power. Serve me. It's like a primordial force. The No. <laughs> no. Giga Chad. Giga Chad! You will die! A queen! 
not a slave. As hope, as You've hope. You've watched me for a thousand years, so you know what I want. Take my people. With them, I will raise an army, conquer your enemies, build an empire as queen. Or let me die, and Whoa. you will remain here, a prisoner. The I God love the confidence of nothing. She's right. <laughs> You can't argue with that, man. She's got a point. I love the confidence. I love that. And that says a lot about her character to instantly turn around from failing like that and just be like, nope, I got this. That's crazy. Again, like, this could be the opening to a film. Very intriguing. Whoa. Cool character design, too. Yeah. The pride of being a queen. Exactly. She doesn't give that up. It's like, you can kill me if you want, but yeah, I'm a queen. I love that. It's like her identity, you know? Man, I thought it was going to be hard to top Jaina Warbringers, but this is awesome in its own way. But I do love that sea shanty. Did he like assimilate with her or something? Oh no. That's a lot of power to contain if that's the case. A lot of power. What? Come on. Arise, Arise, my queen. He did assimilate. Oh no. Warbringers Ashara. Wow, that was awesome. That was awesome. So this is all for the Battle of Azeroth? What kind of busted expansion is this? It just has all this crazy stuff going on. Oh man, so she was reborn as this just beast. I mean, I just want to say there's so much in this. It really could be like the first act of a film or the opening of a film. I mean, this instantly, I, it also reminded me of the beginning of Arcane, like the upper city of Arcane, um, which is very similar idea to like the upper city of Midgar from Final Fantasy VII, which I always loved. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. There's birds flying. It's a utopia. It's a utopia. And then what happens is... There's a subtle camera shake there. Did you catch that? Just a little tiny bit of camera shake to imply maybe it's not just a cloudy day and the music. Like, it sounds mournful, her voice, doesn't it? It sounds mournful. And in fact, it reveals a cataclysmic image. And it just, it does just that. And I want to say for both uh, this, this as beautiful as the images are, as beautiful as the, the beautiful as the paintings are, I think the standout on this is honestly the sound design. There's a couple moments that I could like feel it in my bones. The sound design. We'll talk about it in just a moment. Um, but like I said, if you're enjoying our time together, please make sure to subscribe. Please make sure to follow on Twitter, Twitch, wherever you prefer. Let's just talk about this because there's so much. And lore masters, again, help me out in the comments. I love reading your comments on the lore. And uh, shout out to the chat. Shout out to the chat on the 25K celebration. It's great to have everybody here. So I love this. This is so cool. And why I like this particular shot is it looks like she is someone caught as a bystander. Like, ah, oh! it looks like she's caught unawares. And then it's just like, Boom! This explosion of magic in this barrier, and it's like, oh no, she's like a complete boss right here, you know? Girl boss. I mean, look at this. 
And like, it's just so cool. Just like I said with Warbringers Jaina, how you get these cool images that are like, you know, uh, there's so much emotion in them and they're so deliberate and they're so dramatic and they're so painterly. So it, because of those reasons, like every single line that's painted is intentional. You're not, you're not having to deal with an in-game engine. So what happens is you get these striking images like that. I mean, that one's one of my, one of my favorites actually with her head down. Cause you can see the weight on her shoulders is the weight of a queen. Christine, thank you so much for the $5. Now that you've done the first two, you need to finish Warbringers with Sylvanas. Oh, is that, is that it? Is that the third? Is that the third and final Warbringers? I'm actually going to consider that. Yeah, quite literally a girl boss. I love it. Um, but yeah, this is, this is one of my favorite images here for that reason. It's like the weight of a queen on her shoulders, you know, powerful, powerful. And I love that too, because it's, you know, what am I defending? And you see like a couple feet in front of you, just pure terror, pure fear. This is what's going to be unleashed if you don't, you know, do what's right. If you don't can, if you don't defend, oh, and just to see behind it was like, it doesn't even matter if I hold this, it's destroying the city elsewhere, you know, oh, rough. I love the sound of that. Like I said, you hear this like cracking rock. It's like she's in a fever dream and you hear her belabored breath. Incredible sound choice here. And listen, there's no music. You have a tsunami, a cataclysmic event, a city being destroyed completely. And there's no sound. All we hear is, and, and this, you know, cracking of rocks. It's, it's, eerie it's surreal and the real sound that we hear is actually the fish right it's almost like you know let let, let me concentrate on this this sacred moment like let, let me die as a queen let me die defending my people and it's like what is that racket what is this insufferable racket it's a it's a fish and this is so cool is because it's not a fish it's like this primordial power you know And her eye twitches. It's like, let me die as a queen. Let me die defending my people. Her eye is twitching. Not a word is spoken. There's so much being voiced here. That sound design again. It's like you can, you can feel her. Is it her muscles tearing? Is it the stone breaking? Is it the magic seal? Like, ugh, it's chilling. Look at that. Let go. Let go. Let this is go. this is the part where the performance is crazy. I just want to listen again with you guys. Listen to this performance. No! I am queen. And listen, listen, I want you guys to pay attention to the sound design and how the sound effects kind of merge with her voice and create this just like dissonance. It's like, you know, it's contributing. It's like cracking her voice. It's that, listen to this. It's so well done. This is the empire I built. Ooh. It is over. Wow. It's, it's, it's just amazing. Amazing. Like what a performance again. Mind blowing performance. Mind blowing performance. Could talk about that all day. I don't know who the actor is for that, but like that, that was raw. That was that was human. This is great too. Yeah. And again, I like this too, because it's like, yeah, the crown floats away. She lost that privilege. The crown has a mind of its own. It's like, no, you failed your people. Yeah. I'm very impressed with the wild voice acting, um, particularly Illidan, which you guys said is Liam O'Brien. Um, uh, Arthas's father, 
who I think I think you guys said had passed away, which is very sad. Rest in peace. Incredible work. Just this classical, like Shakespearean warmth and everything. Oh, I love that. And then this. It's kind of the opposite. It's just this raw, like modern emotional explosion. You know, it's incredible. Very well done. No, my people. And that's her people that went down. Yeah. And then this is again, it's very Dead Marsh's uh the two towers, Lord of the Rings, right? This was not the deal I made. This was not the deal I made. I love that line too. It's like be such a good start to a film, right? I'm telling you. Yeah, I love this too. Deal. The voice is like, Ugh, it's, it's, it's creepy. Like deal. Who are you? Show yourself at once. It also shows like her power level. I mean, she's underwater. Like she's just able to survive. The beast. Beast. Hmm. For a thousand years, bound beneath these waves, I have watched you. Watched. I love it. I, have taste. it I really like, long. yeah, this, there's a particular shot. This shot, that's a painting, man. That's a painting. That's another one, like I said, in the Jaina one. Like, you, you could hang this on your wall. It's creepy. It's gorgeous. It's just like, what is the story here? You know, it, it evokes so many questions. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is sort of like the key art that they use to kind of envision this whole thing. It's like, oh, I really want to have this shot. I really want to have this key frame. Um, it's perfect. It's, it's just an awesome image. And you have the red here. It's just popping out. And that's the one thing where it's like, that's not normal. Why, why are his eyes red? And what's this like mist of darkness coming in? It's so cool. It's just absolutely beautiful. What an image. Ah, awesome. It's just a painting. It won't be long now. Your death is He's quick near. too. He's quick. Only I can sustain you. Huh. I love that. And then of course oh, he yeah. yeah, he kind of reveals that's that's not his only eye. He's this I monster. Terrifying. You this land, I yeah, primordial primordial creature. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. But I love this because, you know. From our perspective, it's like, oh, she can't compete with that. But from her perspective, she says, nah, I'm going to do my own thing. No. <laughs> I love it. You will die. A queen. Not a slave. That's another one that's so good. It's kind of like, you know, look at the confidence. Even though she's going to get destroyed, it's just a queen. Complete resolve on the face. Complete resolve. It's awesome. Yeah, expression's so good. Expression's so good, Aaliyah. Look at that. You, you know, with them, I will raise an army. Powerful. Conquer your enemies. Build an empire as queen. So cool. But it's interesting because <clears throat> what I like about this is, you know, she inadvertently, like, agrees to this. And I love that expression, right? Look at that. Um, you know, she inadvertently agrees to like be a queen and not be subservient to any sort of power. But in doing so, like, you know, by getting her freedom, she gets this kind of harsh reality. Yeah. Which is like being combined with this power. And then sure enough, this is the reveal, yeah. That's that's what actually happened. She was still underwater and is still like quite small compared to that great eye of power. Terrifying. And it's like a pupil. How they did that. Beautiful image. Arise, son. Arise, my queen. And he says, My queen. I mean she looks awesome like what a what a creepy design <laughs> what a creepy design so well done and like this is i mean i can only assume this character is going to be a villain or antagonist and maybe 
at one point, I really hope that they work this into the story that at one point she either has like remnants of this feeling or she does in fact find a way to kind of like fight to take back her freedom um, and like to die a queen in some way. I think that would be so cool, but like completely free and to be herself. I think that'd be awesome. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that happens or not, but I think that's what I would probably do if this was a character that uh, I was starting out on their, on their, uh, on their arc. I love it. Love the visuals like an eclipse says Aaliyah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And this is her new kingdom, which is so cool, right? This is her kingdom now. Look at that. Warbringers Ashara. So I loved it. Like I said, guys, if you enjoyed our time together, please make sure to subscribe, follow over on Twitch, Twitter, um, anywhere you prefer. Uh, also, thank you. So many of you guys have been joining the Discord. We've had so many good conversations in the Discord. And also, you guys have been linking playlists for me and kind of helping me decide what order to do these Warcraft videos and everything. It's been such a blast. So shout out to everybody who's popped in there. If you want to join the Discord, um, it's now in the description of my newest videos on YouTube. The link, it's also on my channel, like pinned to my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can get there. So thank you, everybody who has, uh, who has been a part of this. It's been such a fun journey. And uh, we're kind of just getting started still. So there's a lot to cover. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. That's on the YouTube side. We're still here on the 25K celebration for my friends here. <laughs> and there's that Discord link if any of our new friends want to hop in. Man, another one down, guys. We are cranking through these. And my goodness, what a pleasure that was. These Warbringer ones have really kind of stolen my heart. <laughs>